Tonight, just 78 votes ended the debate on whether to cap the number of short-term rental licenses allowed on Folly Beach. The months-long dispute came to an end as the final vote rang in earlier tonight. Lines at the polls began at 7 this morning. Now, tonight's vote officially caps the number of rentals like condos and Airbnbs to a total of 800 across the island. Anna Harris joins us live from Folly right now with more details on those results. Anna, we know these numbers, uh, the votes still have to be certified, but you say voters turned out in record numbers today. Yes, Cameron, the mayor of Folly Beach says he's never seen a turnout like this since he's been in office. The number of voters today was just over 1,200, which is about half of the number of registered voters on the island. Both sides say they were excited about the turnout. This is probably the most people I've ever seen vote, even in a presidential election, that I can remember. This special citizen vote tallies 655 voters for the cap on short-term rentals and 577 against it. This issue stems back to October when a citizen petition to cap the number of short-term rentals came to city council, which was then put up to a citizen vote. Those for the cap say they don't want the permanent residents leaving because of disruptive renters. Very tight knit community and we feel like if people keep leaving, um, that's going to be lost. Those against the cap say they don't want their kids not to have a rental option on inherited property. I feel like the property values really end up going down and they certainly should be able to short term rent on it. One renter has a similar opinion. I don't want to be priced out of the market. I want to have plenty of choices when I contact a, a local real estate office and, and pick my place. Mayor Goodwin says he signed the original petition and voted for the SDR cap. We know that they bring in tax dollars. Never wanted to see short term rentals go away totally. It's just, you know, where do you want your city to be in, in, in reference for community versus businesses? I asked if he thinks this will have any effect on people investing on Folly in the future. I don't think so. You know, before before all this got started, like I said, the number was 800. That didn't stop people from buying and selling out here. Nobody's going to be totally happy with the vote. So now it's just a matter of the community coming back together and healing and let's get on with the rest of the world. Mayor Goodwin says it will take several years for the number of SDRs to dwindle down to 800 from either people selling their property or not renewing their licenses. He says the current number is around 1,200. This vote will be certified this Thursday and will immediately take effect. Reporting live on Folly Beach, Anna Harris, Live 5 News.